I'm Veronica Dela Cruz. I'm Alan Martin. This is your PIX Now update. May Day rallies were held around the world today in support of workers' rights. Explosions erupted as anarchists overtook a peaceful demonstration in Paris. Protesters burned an effigy of the Philippine president in Manila. And closer to home, workers gathered in Oakland. Chopper 5 was overhead about an hour ago as hundreds marched from Franco Gawa Plaza to the sheriff's office and onto Lake Merritt. In addition to workers' rights, demonstrators are also calling for sanctuary for all and an end to violent encounters between the public and police. Many of those marchers work at the Port of Oakland. Union members there walked off the job at 10 o'clock this morning to take part in the day of demonstrations. I want uh, a better world for my, my daughter and my family. You know, there's too much senseless violence. Uh, and if this brings some awareness against that, I think it's a positive thing to do. The march wrapped up about an hour ago at Lake Merritt, where community organizations held a resource fair for immigrant workers. Uber, Lyft, and other giants of the gig economy may soon have a harder time withholding certain benefits from their workers. A recent study found about 12.5 million people were considered independent contractors in 2016, or 8.4 percent of the U.S. workforce. But KPX 5's Leonard Mears reports a new court decision could give them a big boost. The California Supreme Court ruling is about to send shockwaves through the state's economy, affecting the rights of ride-sharing drivers, high-tech workers, and truck drivers like Seco Uena, who we reach via Skype from Southern California. It's a great decision for me being a misclassified pork truck driver. Uh, this will also uh, make us eligible for things such as workers' comp, disability, the decision could lead to hundreds of thousands of workers being reclassified from contractor to company employee with all the appropriate wages and benefits that employees get but contractors don't. Many businesses, particularly high-tech companies, rely heavily on independent contractors and uh, those independent contractors are often exploited by those businesses. This ruling uh, helps give new protections to those workers. Under the ruling, only workers like plumbers who control their own hours and whose work is outside the company's normal work would be considered contractors. For Uber and Lyft drivers and other so-called gig economy workers, it could lead to protections and benefits they've never had. Employers can hire independent contractors and pay them less than the minimum wage, and often they do. That's a reason that employers will misclassify workers as independent contractors. Under this decision, it'll be much harder for them to do that. Misclassifying workers has also meant billions of dollars in lost state tax revenue. And just to think where our state, or even our nation would be, if we were to have those monies allocated and properly given to our state. Employee status changes for high-tech and gig economy workers will not change overnight, but a flood of class action lawsuits against employers is expected. In San Jose, Len Ramirez, KPIX 5. Today, Sacramento police released the official autopsy report on the shooting of Stefan Clark. The new autopsy differs from the one issued by Clark's family. Today's report says Clark was shot seven times. Three of the rounds entered his back. The family's autopsy found Clark was shot eight times, six times in the back. Clark was unarmed. He was killed by Sacramento police in his grandmother's backyard in March. This evening, a Morgan Hill police officer is on administrative leave after a teenage girl ended up with a bullet wound to the face. It all started when police say the driver of a stolen van led officers on a chase over the weekend. The van finally came to a stop in the area of Yagas and Del Monte Avenues. The girl was a passenger in that van and she was being directed to get on the ground. Police say that an officer accidentally discharged his gun. The bullet ricocheted off the ground and a fragment hit the girl near her eye. She was taken to the hospital where it was safely removed. A multi-million dollar grant is headed for schools affected by the wine country wildfires. The California Department of Education is expected to receive a federal emergency grant of $14.4 million to help schools recover. Schools can use the funds to repair fire damage, remove debris, and pay for environmental cleanup. Crews broke ground today on a new Redwood Park less than 30 miles from some of the biggest Bay Area tech hubs. The Bear Creek Redwoods Open Space Preserve is in Los Gatos, west of Highway 17. It's across from Lexington Reservoir. The 1,400-acre site will feature a Redwood Forest and Historic Pond and six miles of trails for hiking and horseback riding. And it's all just a stone's throw from Silicon Valley. 
people might be surprised to, to find this peaceful forest so close to the urban areas of Silicon Valley. Um, there's wonderful wildlife here. Uh, it's really beautiful and we're really excited to be able to soon share it with the public. The public grand opening is set for next spring. And it is definitely a pretty nice day out there for a high call. Gorgeous day. It has day. been uh, pleasant today and will continue to be pleasant for the next several days. Good outdoor weather regardless of where you are in the Bay Area. Normal weather, but early May normal's just fine. These are your highs today. 70s, we made it in San Jose, San Rafael and Concord. Hayward 67, San Francisco 62, Half Moon Bay 58. All of those within two or three degrees of average. And we will do the same thing tomorrow. Taking you to the foothills of the Sierra where we do have numerous thunderstorms still on the western edge of that low pressure area right around Coulterville, uh, Groveland up by Phoenix Lake and then points uh, higher in elevation along Highway 120. Uh, we're seeing a few showers and thunderstorms and new ones popping up just west of Lake Tahoe. That's not coming here. Uh, stable air has moved in and will be prevalent for the next several days. Baseball tonight, another victory for the uh, Giants, we hope. First pitch, 715, breezy and chilly, 57 degrees. Your first pitch temperature. So there's your low. It's raining in Las Vegas with some mountain snowfall around there. Some rain uh, in Southern California, Northern Arizona as well. Uh, that's that low pressure area which is moving out. We will be contending with a high pressure ridge which will move in and park itself to our south. It's not just is there a ridge, it's where is it centered this time of year. That's going to be centered to our south, so we keep the light on shore flow, which will prevent us from warming up too much. We'll stay right in that comfort zone when temperatures near normal. We're cleared this evening. Low clouds will move in late as that ridge begins to pull in an onshore flow. I will see low cloud cover and fog near the water. And overnight lows tonight, 50 for Oakland and Mountain View, 48 for San Rafael, 49 in Concord, and 47 for Livermore. Dry weather pattern ahead for the next several days. Tomorrow's highs. Right in the comfort zone, very close to average. 70s inland, 71 for Vallejo, 75 for Napa, 74 for San Jose, and seasonably cooler near the water, Pacifica 62 and Oakland 68. We'll stay chilly at the beach, but we will stay right in the wheelhouse of the comfort zone for the next several days. How about the mid to upper 60s near the bay, mid to upper 70s inland, all the way through the weekend into early next week. That is your forecast. Our news continues tonight at 10 on KBCW 44, Cable 12, and at 11 on KPIX 5. And remember to select KPIX News on your Amazon Echo.